Welcome back to another episode of Intoxicados Podcast. This is your co-host, Brandon. Right next to me, we've got our boy, Filipito. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? It's your boy, Filipito here. The one with the big... No, nah, just kidding. It's just small. But anyways, <laughs> right next to me, the lovely Diego Vinaboa. A.K.A. the CEO. In the building. What's the guy that, In the flesh. The guy that signs our checks, man. Yes, sir. How are you feeling uh, today? <laughs> he be lagging. but You be man, lagging, bro, because, it, it, you know, my, my direct deposit is supposed to hit in about 51 minutes, so. Yo, well, shit ain't coming in, man. <laughs> behind. Yo, uh, before we get into it, what's up with Felipe being all down today, man? Oh. He's in, on the way here, he was, see, my head hurts, my tummy hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sick. I am sick. I don't know. I think I have a throat infection. I don't know how <laughs> I got that. <laughs> throat cold. <laughs> but yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm a little down. I try my best. You know, we're all human. And that's why I got me a wheat throw. Here's some bougie ass water. <laughs> Zen <laughs> water. Like, I'm more <laughs> it's, of like, a, it's like from Diego's crib. Oh I'm more of this a Vallarta just, type yeah. of water guy. You know what I mean? But I'll, I'll set a More of an Aldi water myself. Dude, it's funny because we were in the car and we're like, Felipe, como está el bebe? How you feeling? And Felipe's like, this. <laughs> nah, nah, dude, that guy. Bag, man. Nah, man. Whether you're too I'm getting soft, man. Be crying every oh, part. Now I'm yeah, sick. Man. Hey, Damn, but bro. you know what? Uh, it would have never happened in construction, man. By the way, I don't think I say this enough, man. Shout out all my construction workers, mm. man. Shout out all those hardworking men and female. Mm. You know what's crazy? In my whole career of construction, I've only seen two girls work construction. Mm. And bro, one of them was strong, bro. Like I think her dad was like the the people that pick up the piedras, like oh, the yeah. leftover like cement. Yeah. Well, she should be picking up and breaking it with a pickaxe. Damn. I'm I'm like being legit. Uh, my boy Edgar could testify with me because she was looking a little bad. I was like, damn, bro, that girl's bad. Mm -hmm. And then she was picking up the cement, <laughs> and I was like, damn, she's strong too. Hey, well, uh, a little question: Would you guys be able to date a girl that's stronger than you? Yeah. Good genetics. No, nah, yeah. I mean, you, would yeah, you? Let her pick my little ass up, man. <laughs> What? You, you, <laughs> like getting, you like getting tossed in bed, huh? Yeah, just pick I mean, I don't well, know. He likes his ass, what you mean? Oh he likes God. being dumb, submissive. Hey, I, I, can't, I, <laughs> I can't really talk smack on that because I'm, I'm I'm one of those people too. And you know, it's you gotta, you gotta spice too. it up a exactly. little bit, bro. My fault, man. You gotta spice it up, but you know what's crazy? I don't think I could date a girl that's stronger than me, bro. I feel like she'll just come in and like, you know, what if she catches me doing something that I'm not supposed to do? She just slapped up out of me, bro. Slaps me into next week's rent, bro. I, I, I couldn't do it, man. She makes you shorter? <laughs> That's bad. Fuck I'm sorry, that. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> hey, well, you were saying shout out to the construction workers, the, the guys and the girls, but most importantly, shout out to the lunch ladies out mm, there, man. La lonchera. The, la, 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 yeah, the lunch lady with the big BBL, man. Shout out to you. I know you've been putting in work. You know what's crazy, bro? It was rare when they pulled up those to like where I worked. It uh -huh. was rare. It was really? mostly doñas, but I love them still. Yeah, bro. I mean, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, doñas, are, you tienen, know. Tienen manos de Dios, bro. They make the, the lunches. Manos de yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. I, I love the Doñas, man. They got more experience, man. They, you can learn a thing or two from them, man. Yo, uh, whether why, but just to give you guys a heads up, we might have to... If this podcast isn't as long as you guys would want it to be, it's because we, uh, we were running late. Typical Hispanics running late to the pod. We only have the studio for like an hour and a half and uh not even like no now minutes. it's now it's now, now it's like an hour now it's like 40 minutes so we're gonna try to make the best out of it i think today uh we're just kind of you know raw doggy in the podcast huh raw we don't really got too many no topics, topics in there. coming in nothing it's just this is raw straight off the dome yeah bro just straight off the dome with brand dome that should be a topic that should be a well, segment I like that huh? huh as a matter of fact though i do want to i do want to you know start it off with like a little game and um you know i'm gonna you know start it off with you I only got I only I only got up to a certain like uh, let me explain what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask you a couple seven seconds in heaven. No, bro. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and and read to you a couple a couple of words, mm -hmm. and I want you to tell me the first thing that pops into your mind. Because <laughs> it's a therapy session. No, no, I, it's not a. Th I just I just want to know what's going on in the little in your little devious mind, bro. All right, let me go for it. So let me start it off. You 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 understand the rules, right? First yeah. thing that comes into your mind. One word. One word, maybe a couple on this one. Okay, all right. Ready? Let me hear it. Casino. Blackjack. The next one was blackjack. Double down. Two cards, seven and a four. Double down. Pantera. R.I.P. Head. Game. Ecuador. Best country in the world. Cui. Not my type. BBL. Beautiful. 
I love it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, huh? Okay, it's and just then, like questions we're asking. It's just a random. I just want to know nah. what's going on in his head. You By the way, I'm a little slow right now. My my head's it's, pounding. It's fine, but with this one, the um, Tylenol hasn't kicked in. Right, right, right. I feel it. I feel I it. I need a moxicillin. I need the Mexican uh, medication straight from Mexico, like smuggled in through the border. That sh- is that's that's a crazy. clutch, man. That's what I need. All right, for this one, I mean, I literally. I only got up to this, but I haven't really put too much. So, Diego, if you can help me with this one, let's just throw some random words to okay. Felipe and let's see what's going you on. You want me to go first? You go first. I'll go first. Okay. Felipe, Canoga Park. Home. Proposal. Soon. Bad bitch. Love them. Papeles. Need them. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yo, you can't make this shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, we're really raw dogging this. We have, this I have show. no idea what this is gonna lead up to. I don't know how this is gonna finish, but we're just <laughs> we're just raw dogging that. Wait, I actually wanted to ask Felipe a question, and I wanted to ask you a question. Go too. ahead, man. Go ahead, Felipe. First of all, you want kids? Yeah, yeah. Now I do. Now that I'm older, I do. How many kids you want? I don't know. So the thing is, I feel like a lot of Hispanics can relate. I mean, I feel like everybody can relate, but Hispanic in general, bro, I feel like. Well, you were the oldest, right? I am the oldest, yes. And you were the youngest. Mm-hmm. And you were wealthy, right? <laughs> you were, <laughs> I, you was not right. Wealthy. <laughs> I was not wealthy. <laughs> I was not wealthy. Now, the point is, man, it's something that I feel like, it, how you, I think you say it's like a generational curse. Yep. I'm not going to say that because I'm going to get canceled. But I do find it unfair when mom and dad have a kid and then have another one and they just leave it to the 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 oldest to take care of it and raise it mm. because at the end of the day it's, it's the mom and dad's responsibility and i know everybody's struggling and i know everybody's going through a tough time i really but mm. i had to take care of my sisters i then i had no childhood i would sneak out and and you might think oh i look bad kid but i would go sneak out to do basic kids stuff go play soccer that was my dream play soccer you know so i always went you know fun fact i actually I like a couple of times i'm telling i'm talking about like 2 year olds and f- a five-year-old in a in the Vallarta shopping cart, pushing them all the way to Lanark Park, wow. the park I would go play soccer, and then I'd, I would, I would throw them over the fence. Mm-hmm. Obviously, my friends would catch them, and they just play there, bring their toys, and we'd play soccer. That's what I would do. Right. But I just find it so unfair, and I'm not here to complain, and I'm shout out to my parents for giving me an amazing childhood, but I just find it real unfair for the oldest, you know, because mm-hmm. they have to step up and be the parent because obviously mom and dad have to go to work, and that's why... I felt like I didn't want kids for the longest because I'm like, I dealt with that already. Obviously not the financial burden because I didn't pay for my sisters. You get me? Yeah. But mom and dad would go leave from 6 a.m. My mom wouldn't come back till 8 p.m. My dad till 12 p.m. So I'd take care of them every single day. Mm-hmm. It'd be it'd be annoying. I, I wouldn't be able to stay after school for any certain reason because I'd have to go straight home and pick them up from the babysitter, then take them to my house, feed them, bathe them, mob, mob sweep. Limpiar el baño, everything. So I just, for the longest, I didn't want kids. But I mean, how we made it clear, you know, parents are living life for the first time yeah. just like us. So I can't blame my parents. And, you know, that's not going to ruin me from wanting to have kids. Boy or girl? I would say I'd want a boy. Probably two boys. All right, let me give you the crazy scenario. Oh, my God. Bro, I already know where this is going with. Listen, 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 are listen. Do listen. You, you really want to ask that question right now? Okay, no, no, no. This is a scenario. All okay, right. let me you're in, you're in, you've been with your wife 15 years, man. 15, damn. You're already on, you are already on three kids, and they're all three, girls. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're all girls. You going for one more? You testing your luck? Or you? Nah, I'd have to test my luck in a different pond. <laughs> Take my fishes elsewhere. <laughs> Take my fishes out, uh, elsewhere. No. Yo, you know a funny sh- I feel like you could re- Oh, my God. I always say I feel like you could relate. I'm a bad Diego. I, be- I love you, bro. Um, <laughs> what well, my uncle would say, my uncle would say, or uh, or just other Hispanics that I knew, it'd be like, oh, the, a boy comes out when the guy does the work. You get me? Mm-hmm. When he does most of the work, mm-hmm. and then a, a no, 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 a boy comes out when the the girl does most of the work, mm. and a girl comes out when the guy does most of the work. Mm. So my my stepdad, uh, he has five, four daughters. So he was just laying down and just. Yeah, just, <laughs> not, just, not just doing was, anything, man. Well, you know, I don't mean to sound disrespectful, nah, but, mom, but mom was doing all the work on that one. Huh? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, just man. Just step back I and told, I told them one time, I was like, man, be like my dad, man. I'm a f- <laughs> <laughs> Take notes from my dad? <laughs> That's f***ed up. That 
I'm up was sitting back and just enjoying the ride, huh? Boom, just... with, his, with his hands in the back of his head and shit. <laughs> no, wait, no, no. He was doing all the work. No, you said when you're... No, okay. Well, yeah, see, I messed up because uh, I have brain fog. Wait, wait, so when your dad... When a guy does most of the work, a girl comes out. Oh, that's And when what it a is. boy comes out is, is, is when the mom does most of the work. I actually like So he putting in the work, I man. I, I told like him the... just to be like my dad, just, hey, chill, man, relax. <laughs> Lay Look, down, enjoy I, the ride. I like the other way around just because uh, my parents only had two boys. <laughs> so I want to think that <laughs> my dad was just... <laughs> Yeah, you get vieja. <laughs> toma, toma, toma. That's what I want to think. Nah, hey, hey, man. Happened. Hey, shout out, shout out to my beautiful mom for putting in the work. <laughs> what? Uh, you know, based off Theo, Theo terminology, that's not what, how it happened. Theo terminology, yes. Nah, you know, we're boys. My mom put in all the work, I guess. Hey, so oh, you're a boy too. <laughs> <laughs> you're a boy. Too. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, on my birth certificate, that's what it says. <laughs> Hey, Yo. I guess all our moms put in the work, man. Shout out to the hardworking moms. <laughs> hey, man. Speaking of that, Mother's, Mother's day. day. Happy Mother's Day to all the Feliz beautiful women. Happy, happy Mother's Day to all of them. Mother's Day should be every day, though, guys. Please don't just buy your mom something on Mother's Day, man. That Spoil your mom true. a little bit, man. Mm. Take her take her to Ross. Take her to TJ Maxx. Nah, you know? Marshall. Marshall. Away. If you see Brent Dome, don't bring your mom there, man. <laughs> Marshall's. Marshall's having deals mm, right now. Marshall's, Mar Marshall's having deals today? I swear. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, guys, Marshall's is having deals. Please take her out. Take her on a shopping spree, man. And it, even if there's no, you know, if money is an issue, at least just take her out to a simple breakfast, anything, even just a walk in the park. Just make her feel special and remind her how special she is in your life, you know, because moms went through a lot, you know. I, I want to consider that my, my mom was a warrior, man. She put up through so many things, and I've said it in the past, um, but it's a... Uh, Honestly, mothers are, I mean, you know, shout out to the hardworking dads and everything. But, guys, I'm sorry. We're talking about moms right now. Mm. So, you know, we we we, we all have seen it. The moms take the food out of their mouth to give it to their kids. They'll go to sleep hungry as long as their kids are fed. So, you know, shout out to those strong, independent women. Uh, you know, we love you guys. And shout out to the tias, too. But, uh, yeah. Love from those chicos toxicos. For love from shout those Shout out to all those hardworking moms. We talked about this. We talked about this on the IE and Friends podcast. Yeah, that um, because you know you said shout out to all the strong, independent Hispanic mothers, and we, me and Felipe were cruising down the other day, uh, just like, yo, what happened? Like the generation of the the woman, I love them, all of them, no matter what generation. Yeah, that's what Diego said, man. Don't be in this combo. Nah, nah, I'm not. Uh, don't cancel me for this. <laughs> but uh, and let me clarify before I go into detail. Okay. There are still. There's still independent women out there i believe it i truly from they went to school they got their job there they don't they don't rely on any man like mm -hmm. there's still some out there there's still some good ones out there yeah. compared now today today's eight day and age to our mom's day and age of women like you know being independent all that mm -hmm. like bro tell me not gang the hispanic moms from back then like all of our moms they don't i don't need no man Be i do by myself i get my job i'll make my money Be before you answer right i am not gonna lie Shout out our moms. Right. But what got me, what Diego was talking about there, Diego said when Diego's mom came into a completely different country, which is the United States of America, he said, Diego said that she saved up money for her first car. And, bro, it was a standard car, bro. Ten, one out of ten men can't even drive standard cars nowadays. Standard is stick shift. For yeah, stick shift. shift. Clutch, stick you shift. know, clutch in, clutch out. And when Diego told me, I was like, no way. He's like, yeah, bro. My mom knew, my mom's first car here was a standard car, and she would drive that shit around just clutching in, clutching out, downshifting, everything. Yeah. And I was like, no way, bro. Yeah. I guarantee you, I don't know. I mean, I don't know the statistics, but I feel like one out of 50 women could probably drive standard car. Or one out of, that's insane, bro. Like, hats off to Diego's mom. That is insane, but bro. But it's not just my With, mom. You know, Sorry, but it, I, it's the whole generation of where our parents came. But I feel like. yes, but uh, yeah, exactly. Where like, the parents like came Mexico, from. I'm because, sure. Yeah, because in uh, uh, at least well, Mexico, more specific in Tijuana, where I grew up in, uh, my mom and all, a lot of people know how to drive stick shift because, like, you know, supuestamente, like they they last longer. You know, they're if if that ammo doesn't start off, you just do the little the good old reliable and have that. Shit. Going. What's a good or reliable? I don't even know. It's still, it's 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 like if it's not turning on, like you just like put it in first, and then you like gas it a little bit, and you push it, and then boom, oh, it turns on, on and oh, it keeps going. Wow. Yeah. So like they're just, you know, they're just indestructible. I'm guessing, and I, I'm assuming they're a little bit cheaper. Yeah, I, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. I, At the time back then, they were cheaper. Like standard was cheaper. Now like it's cool. 
like people want standard cars now yeah. it's a little like you actually could get taxed like five hundred thousand dollars more for oh, it being sick. standard wow, because it's that. so rare now like yeah, to find yeah. a standard car in good yeah. conditions yeah but yeah or how Diego was saying, I'm not going to lie. You're, you're onto something. You're cooking, man. And how we're saying, we're not saying there's no more independent, beautiful woman out there or women in general. Damn. I kind of feel like I'm sitting next to the Tate brothers right now. No, what? no, no. We didn't say that. No, because you have to understand how we're saying it. <laughs> no, I, 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 I try to say, no, like, look, 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 look. Like I said, compare, I can, you, if you put your mom, his mom, my mom, any, right now, whoever's mom is, if they're still on this earth. They look at all like, like the moms be like, oh, I used to go to school. It take I used to take a bus an hour to go to school and do this or like I don't know. I feel like all of our Hispanic moms from that generation are just so independent. Don't need nobody. Don't need no man. Cook clean. Don't, but like now I see it more. Maybe social media has a huge part of it. But like you know, like girls just kind of relying a lot on on their man to provide for them. Am I tripping? Am no, I, no, 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 no. I, I, I know. I completely understand where I you're just coming feel like from. for saying that y'all gonna be like. That's my no, 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 like, let's, let's, let's clarify it a little bit more, yeah. bro, it's, I understand completely what you're saying, it's, it has everything, to, it has everything to do with the generation in the past, we hear it all the time, like, I remember my mom would say, or my grandma would say, she would walk 20,000 miles mm -hmm. to get to school, mm -hmm. she would have to fight an alligator on the way there, yeah. she would have to, you know, get down with the group of and I don't know, I don't know, but I remember, I, I yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a whole generation thing that they, mm -hmm. you know, but I completely understand where you're coming okay. from, you know what I mean? You know, you know, they say, they say they're all independent women until, uh, until they get some drinks in them, they need a man in their life. <laughs> I've never heard that one before, <laughs> man. Right now, man. Ladies, I'm sorry, I hope man. you guys don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Like I said, I think there's still women out there. We're too. losing all our ladies support. Nah, bro, man. because I I'm, it, bro. I'm you saying. You got to bring this no. topic up. No, because I just, I feel like clip it's. clip our up, call us a tape brother from now on. <laughs> I still think there are women that are like that. But you know what's crazy? But I'm saying there's there's less of them compared to that generation back then. That's all. But but let's say that is true, right? It's crazy because that's what going forward does, though. Mm -hmm. Like they mm -hmm. sh they shouldn't, you know. Like what our moms did is amazing, but I'm pretty sure our moms would not want their daughters to go through that. You get me? Like they would want like them to be more secure. Have a good man. I feel like I feel like it's just it's just. So you think that's what why it's happens? Happening. Yeah, because humanity in, in as a own is moving forward. You get me? Yeah. If that makes sense, I don't know. No, I, I guess I guess you're onto something though. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm. I just think that's why it happens now. You get me? Because yeah. mom and mom and dad worked hard. Yeah. In order for them to know. I guess that makes sense. It, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Now that you it, put it that way, because because like cooking. if I have a daughter, you know, if I'm blessed with a daughter. I'm going to want to give my daughter everything I can so that no guy could just come in her life and start impressing her. Like, oh, I'm going to take you to fancy dinners. I'm going to do this. Like, I want her to be like, nah, my, my dad did this you, for me, right? You know what's so crazy? That, like, now I see what you guys you are going. You know what I'm now, saying? Oh, my God. Because are, now now we're putting yes. that mindset on them. Yes. Like, oh, my dad used to do this for me. I don't need no. I don't need yeah. this from for somebody so, to come in and impress me. You know so, what I mean? So, the, the, you know, the start was a little rocky, but now yeah. I understand where you're coming mm -hmm, from, bro. Mm -hmm. You would give your daughters everything. Mm -hmm. and literally take her, you know, nice dinners, good clothes. Flowers. Show her how a woman should be respected right. and taken care of. Mm. So when she gets to that age that she has, that she's going to pick a man or whatever mm -hmm. she's going to pick, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? At least she learns, she knows the values mm. And she understands how she should be treated as a woman, and knows her worth, and and knows her worth that is more like it's is more important because I see that a lot, man. I see, you know, um, you know, sometimes being in the in in the game, um, a lot of a lot of women's put up a barrier. They mm -hmm. you know they're scared because in the past uh, guys have treated her very bad. Mm -hmm. They made them feel less valuable and stuff. So you know, having that figure, it doesn't matter. You know, being just a dad or a mom, but you teach your daughters. Or just anything, anyone in general, just teach them the values of life and how they should be treated. That's the way they're gonna carry themselves from and then from now on. That's the moving forward. That's, that's what we got the moving to like forward. Yeah, yeah. That's where and I you gotta understand too, like you know, like for my mom, like she wasn't, um, she didn't, the you know, her dad or my grandpa wasn't really in the picture as much, right? So she went, she went through life, and then she met my dad, and then you know, she fell in love, and she thought that a lot of those like values, such as you know, sometimes getting mistreated or whatever, she thought it was part of a relationship, because you know, she didn't have anything, anyone uh, helping her or understanding, so she went through that. She thought it was normal, but you know, now 
parents focus on teaching their kids that and that's mm -hmm. what they want to do so i completely understand what you guys are saying so yeah. guys make sure you hopefully that made sense yeah, yeah. Hopefully that makes sense if you guys, if it was like a roller coaster like over here, here uh, if that sh if if y'all decide to clip us please make sure this is the thing about clipping <laughs> this was this is fucked up man people that are clipping any any type of content they'll clip make the worst like they'll probably make us look so bad on that clip right there yeah just so that they can like people they're gonna they know they're gonna get like the views the comments or whatever but whoever decides to clip please like just who do that bro like just every, everything that just broke down to like because i don't be like well who let them have a podcast hey, man? Man. <laughs> hey, you know like, no equipment should be like ten thousand now <laughs> yeah bro <laughs> no, no 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 take that take that back bro remember what we said when we first started nah, this, this podcast this is the g spot, this is a, the g -spot. G -spot. It's a safe spot we're here to get canceled not really <laughs> ah, no. not really but we're here to speak our minds and that's just how it is like i said and i i'm not gonna get tired of saying it you know shout out to you guys for giving us this platform and we're just it's just therapy man we just talk about mm -hmm. random sh we talk about things that you know we we might talk behind you know closed doors and stuff so we're just here to open up and just have a good time and stuff uh that going, is true yeah we're going to uh we're going to chicago for those oh half. my god we haven't even announced it on any vlogs yet this is actually the first vlog i guess you can consider uh, the podcast we're going to chicago this month may 24th we'll be there friday through That's Monday. illinois by the way guys illinois um, illinois well, and uh felipe illinois? you feeling nervous or what we're going on your second ever flight yeah bro i am nervous i am very nervous right next to lake michigan that connects canada i mean i don't know man i'm a little nervous oh it's up there it's all the way up there. Oh, I didn't oh, know it's that. it's in the middle, but Lake Michigan's right there. Are we pulling up to Old Block? I don't know about Old Block, but I've been, I'm excited, bro. I went to Chicago last year. We went for the Sueños Music Festival. Um, so if you guys catch us there, anybody from Chi-Town, from if you guys are watching this, please. Chi-Town. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> if anybody from Chi-Town. Anybody from the Windy City. Yeah. If y'all catch us there, man, please come up to us. Come say what's up. We'd love to talk to you guys, and I'm excited. It's going to be dope. Felipe's going on her second flight. Yup, yeah. and it's funny because I just, I just, I was telling you guys earlier that I just peeped the lineup. The lineup is insane, man. Best right now, all, all, the only thing that's going through my mind is, is uh, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna break up with my girlfriend for that weekend, nah, man. It's like nah, that's what's going through my little <laughs> troubling <laughs> mind. Those uh, are my troubles. Man, peso pluma, Rao Alejandro. Cha -cha! That guy, they got some crazy. Oh, ones. I'm crazy. I'm excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be a movie, man. Um, like Diego said, just if you guys see us, don't be scared to come up to us. Come up to us, ask us, Take ask us questions, man. Just just we're, you know we're your uh, we're you know we're your other friends too. You know we're all fam we're all a family here. Yo, let's take let's take some shots. I'm with all the. <laughs> yeah, I'm with that. Diego, you did say that uh, you mentioned that you were gonna ask me a question right after Felipe. Did I? Yeah. Did you forget? I forgot, man. This what was is, I going to ask what, you? <laughs> this is what happens when you don't write your shit down. I have a man. question, though. Um, this is, like, completely off topic. I was just thinking about it when we were talking about the older generations. So, for example, who do you think cheats more, this generation or the old generation? And nah. before... No, wait. Wait. And I know a lot of y'all might be like, oh, back in the day, the cheating wasn't a thing. No. Okay. I, I, I feel like cheating is more known now because of social media there's cameras mm -hmm. you get me and like you could get caught like this mm -hmm. like that you no get okay me? so are we okay girl so you're not gonna believe it i just saw your man here with another another bad bitch <laughs> and you just catching guys and just face right there just straight on snap no no but let me ask you the question is who cheats more or how is it easier to get caught cheating now no nah, no nah, who would cheat more bro it's easy i i mean i want to say the, the 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 older generation because, bro, I talk, I talk to my tios. I talk to my dad. My tío claims he used to have, like, three other families. That's what they yeah. say, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to have. Because my, it's funny. No, hombres, no tienes tres familias. Bro, and it's, it, it's funny. It's funny because my uncle. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm going I'm to expose your shit. Um, but my uncle was a truck driver. Tell me, right? Don Fabricio? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's Don, Don Rafael. Don Rafael. Don Rafael. Este, um, so he was. He was a truck driver for a a a, a, truck, a, driver? a truck driver uh. for a majority of his life, right? So his yeah, one in every city. So game, his bro. main family was obviously my tia, right? That's just that's just that's what he would tell you. That's what he would tell me, right? <laughs> the main family. But apparently, this this guy he had like uh, on top of the family that he had, he had three other families in like different states type of thing. So whatever he would, you know, make a little quick stop to I don't know to. Tamaulipas. Tamaulipas. Whatever he pull up and check up on his family, mm. make sure everything's good. Oh, he would tell me like, 
yeah, man, like, you know, I would, I would, I would work, go with one family, finish with them, go with the next family. And I was like, damn, bro, I could barely put up with one. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you do it, man. So I feel like the older generation was more, you know, more into like cheating and this and that. Nah, I, I believe so. And I'm, I'm going way even back. Uh-huh. Like I'm talking about back. Is that backer? Is that a thing? Way, are way you, more back, bro. We, you know, we know you're like, you know, an immigrant. This is language gang. We, bro, we, are you like talking? Cool, are you man. talking about the cavemen's type of thing? <laughs> no, I'm talking about like damn, they're about demons too, huh? I'm talking about abuelitos. Oh my, I, bro. So I don't have my, uh, my grandpa. Bless you. I don't have my grandpa, you, but uh, my girlfriend has a grandpa and her grandma and. Her grandma's always like, no, no, me, no. Like when we first started dating, obviously she'd be like, no me gusta que, que uh, Stephanie salga con Felipe porque nada más me la va a maltratar. You know, no son como los tiempos de antes. It's not like back then where like you would come and I would formally ask for her hand. And then, you know, like they would, I would go out with her and, and you know, bring her back by set time. And then I talked to her grandpa. Mind you, her grandpa, I, I'm not sure what he has, but he loses his train of thought a lot. You mm. get me? Like he'll start talking. And then he'll lose his train of thought. But basically, I would ask him. Like, one time I asked him, like, hey, I'm like, would you cheat? He's like, man, you didn't have viejas in todos lugares. Mi vieja estaba en México y yo estaba en Estados Unidos. Y, and hey, but they're so prideful about no, it. Prideful. Like, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. I don't know. Where, like, I don't know if he realized that he was snitching on himself. He's just like, pero no, no, bro, bro. And then he just started talking about something. I was like, oh, pero... Um, <laughs> But the Mundial del 86. Hey, I don't, hey, I don't, you hit hey, him. I, I, don't, I don't think he has a condition that he, he that he loses his train of thought. I think he's a smart man. And he just caught he himself. Caught himself. And he's like, what am I saying? Why am I telling this fool? Bro, that? I thought he was another compa just drinking a chela. Just compa. Una vieja aquí, una vieja allá. No, yeah. it, it's crazy though because, you know, and we 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 hear these stories all you know all the time. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound disrespectful or, or anything. But, you know, we hear these stories where like, where, like people... Uh, the, this generation says, damn, I want to have, I want to live in the generations that my grandpa and grandma were living back in the day. And then I hear the, and then I hear my grandma talk about her stories or my grandma talk about her parents' stories. And it's like, if the, if the, my great grandpa would come in and the food wasn't ready, Una chancla. he would slap the <laughs> f- out of my grandma. Like, <laughs> it, there was, there was no, I mean, I'm sure there was like, yes, there was more sh- uh, shivery. Is that what it's called? Oh, yeah. Shivery? shivery? I think shivery? so. Uh, shivery? Shaking. Huh? Shivery? Sh- is it shivery when you open when you open the door for a woman and everything? Shivery. 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 Thank thank you, man. Uh, there was more shivery back then, I'm assuming. But I mean, once the honeymoon stage was done, it's like I need I, I want the cook to be ready and you cooked it today. The food? The food, yeah. Like it has to be done today specifically. I don't know. I see. That, I just that's all the stories that I hear. Those I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, it's not even like sound like a pick me. That- get me tight bro what? like when, especially when i was younger bro i'd get so heated because you know i have sisters i have, I have my mom i wouldn't want them to do that her. right so i remember i think i said this story a couple of times already maybe off camera or maybe in a different part but i had a babysitter named doña sabrina bro uh-huh. and her husband would come and let's say i was sitting here this was his seat and he'd look at the tv and he'd be like muevete and i'd have to move right oh, shit. and then i'd be like okay and then he would sit he would sit down he's like mi comida and then Doña Sobrina, Doña Sabrina would bring him like a little like yeah, coaster yeah, right here, and, and, he, and he would put <laughs> she'll set the food up right there. She's like, "Te voy a cantar tus tortillas, okay?" And then he and mano, he, huh? yeah, and he go like this. No way! I swear, bro! And she'll take his boots off. Oh yeah, I seen that, bro. And I swear that sh- triggered me. I'm like, gang, you could do that yourself. I work construction, man, and I'm not trying to be mean. When I worked, you know, roofing and I think it's harder than uh, lawn mowing. I'm not gonna. He was a lawn. He would be the guy that lawn that po- like uh, mowed the lawn. lawn and sh- And now that I'm older, I'll be like, man, that's sh- weak, man. <laughs> like real man work is like framing and us uh, and roofing and digging sanghas. And what do you think actually the hardest man a labor? What's the hard? And don't be biased. Just say construction. No, no, no. What do you think is the hardest labor job work? Barbering. Podcasting, like things that you like. Damn, like hats off. Obviously, hats off to everybody. But what do you think if it's like that one thing that you'd be like, hats off? To I, I I feel like it could be either, either one or two. I've never done uh one, the one I'm about to say, but I always see it on like social media is oil rigs. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It's either that one or uh construction, but not electrical, not plumbing, not not mowing the lawn, not jardineria, not that. It's either. Roofing, 
or framing. That, that's what I think. Roofing you, and framing. Either one of those. Songhas is hard. You know, that's digging. That's digging. Man, I was good at digging. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was like fucking zero from... Uh, uh, holes. <laughs> I was good at digging, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like if they said we were digging, easy, cause it's not rocket science. But hey, dig up right here. Yeah. S- that this how many feet? But just boom. start digging, bro. Just start digging. If it's, it gets hard, get the pickaxe. Boom, boom. Make the the ground soft. Holy keep shit. digging. Keep digging. It wasn't hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it, it obviously like it, it takes a toll on your body, but it was not hard. Maybe because I was still young. You get me? Yeah. It wasn't hard. Well, I definitely think that's a that's a defer, that's a that's definitely a hard uh, trait. But I was thinking more like my mine is a little more extreme, like such as like you know cleaning windows from the from the skyscrapers. Oh. You know what I mean? But like, like, is it hard? I feel like once you get over I'm that talking fear, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah once you get over that fear, no, I'm happy. talking about labor, <laughs> gang. <laughs> <laughs> I probably, I think I, I can probably. I don't think you'd be, be like, able to pay me enough to do it. No, I probably do like the fifth floor. That's it, bro. Like anything above <laughs> the fifth floor, like get me down, bro. I'm yeah. done. Get the get the sub. No, no, sub me out. I'm talking about hard labor, like like you're like busting your ass, sweating labor. Like for me, I'm thinking more like those, like the the farmers, like the pick, like the like people that pick, like oh, the like agri- like yeah, agriculture. yeah, like the agricultural uh That's farmers. Definitely. I don't know. If I, I I'm so sorry if if I don't know campesinos not a, I don't know if it's uh, offensive, but yeah, the agriculture worker. That's what yeah, I mean. The agriculture yeah. workers, the ones that like pick out the, the weeds, the things like. You know, like those type of. That, I think that's like that's tough. Out man. in the sun all Bro, day picking that. Hard. You have to that's have patience hard. too. Oh, yeah, on yeah, top of sure. that, yeah. Shout out to them. I think those nah. are the, the hardest. That's like hard. That, labor. that they're for sure up there. Like I don't know. I mean, obviously every job has their things, but sure. for sure top five. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. No, Hats off to them. That's literally that's the reason we eat. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah. Hey yeah, yo, I, uh, I I posted on my Wait, Instagram. What were, we, why were, what were we talking about something? I'm sorry. Sorry, cut you off. We were talking about something. I oh, would. because. Because I'm saying this guy would come and get them a lot of Oh no. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the type of love I need. Nah, well, nah bro, look, well, that's that get me hot. That's what I'm saying. Bro. That leads on to the kidding. question I was about to ask. Okay. And it says somebody, somebody just like, I posted on the story like ask us something for the podcast. Yeah. And, uh He said, "What is my cheese most and how it affected us growing up?" So that kind of kind of leads on to that. Yeah. What are the um? You want me to start? Yeah, you can start. So we said, "What is my cheese most and how it affected so, you growing up?" I, I, I can't tell you the specific definition of it, but I can tell you what I interpret, interpret about that, um, that the word. Um, I've seen it. I don't mean to call anyone out, but I definitely seen it in some families, right? More specifically, I don't even want to say it, but I seen it in some families where, family. you know, uh, I don't even want to say because I think they might watch the podcast, my <laughs> girl's family. Uh, but I seen it. I seen it in situations where, like, you know, you come in and, and the, the, the guy is, like, the head honcho of the mm-hmm. house. What he says goes. Um, he does not accept, um, the you know, he doesn't accept other things that he doesn't believe in. So, you know, there's some, you know, if you come in and you're like, oh, dad, like, I want to do this. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to do this. And that, um, you know, he wants to run control of everything everything and they're like i said uh like i just mentioned they're very very Mm close-minded so um how does it affect well it affects in a big way i mean especially especially on the kids you're they're growing in 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 a toxic household you know what i mean i seen it before where you know you guys like we're we're eating and uh where the the guys are talking Mm -hmm. and then the woman wants to step in and she's like oh you know wants to say something and then the guy's like hey you're not you're not being spoken to. You're not you're we're not speaking to Damn, you. That's so please extreme. please stay quiet. No, that's extreme. You seen that? I I, I seen it. I seen it in the really? past. Really? Yes, I, I have. Like I, 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 I be I no, nah, I wouldn't even let that slide I if been, I was at the table. I I've been I've been you in the You ask me? <laughs> no, <laughs> but, but, but you gotta un- the sh- in your rest of <laughs> you sh- you gotta understand something like like you know, they're they're older, you know, uh, what I've witnessed is they're older people. So if if that's their custom, that's how they're custom to be. So I seen it and, you know, all I, it's embarrassing at the time. So you just kind of like put your head down or whatever. Do I think it's right? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have that in my household. I wouldn't allow my kids to grow up in a, in a machismo, in a household. If my kid wants to whatever, he's open minded about certain things that let it, let, let it be. You know what I mean? If uh, I, I, I strongly believe that that you both men and women in their own household, they have the same in whatever it is. Um, at least, you know, if, what is it, babe? What do you want to do this? How can I help? You know, this is something that I always, that I always wonder myself, what can I do in my relationship to 
help my girl overcome whatever she's going through. What, you know what I mean? Like if she's having a bad day, how can I help her? The same way that she tries to help me to make my life easier when I'm struggling through mm -hmm. through through things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's always a teamwork. It's not one above the other. But obviously that doesn't mean like, you know, sometimes my girl can come with like a crazy idea and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you know, I'm I, I'm supportive, but there's certain things that I can't allow. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? In the same way that there's certain things that she can't allow mm -hmm. in the household. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what it is. And yeah, it's very, it, it does affect a lot of the families, but you know, every, especially the older generation, they have a, that's the way they're, they're dealing with it. You try to stop them. You try to tell them something. And what are they going to tell you? This is my house. These are my rules. And don't come, don't come here with that bullshit. You know yeah. what I mean? I feel like, I feel like, um, going off that, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And yep. I feel like that's the best way to say yeah. it. I think, I think it's, that's just what I cooked up right here. <clears throat> and then there's a difference between, um, what's it called? Cooperating with your with your girl and being a mandilon, you know, because oh, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah, think yeah, that yeah, like, oh, you're yeah. a mandilon. No, like it's not. You gotta be a good leader. You get me? Yeah. I, I feel like that's it. Yeah. If you're like, if you're the man, you're supposed to be the leader. You gotta be able to lead and and show with example. You get me? Lead mm. with example, mm. and that don't make you mandilon, man. So like a mandilon is like you. You're like, hey man, we're gonna go out, and your girl says you can't go. Out. That's a mandilon to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah But yeah. you actually like, uh, you know, talking with your girl, your significant other, your partner. And you guys come to an agreement, that's not a Monday long. You get me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know that's a big, you know, I, we be trolling here, and sh but you're not a Monday long for, you know, listening to your, your wife or your, your significant other. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you come home, like you piss her off. You come home and now you got to deal with that. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, you know, it's a give and take. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's, you know, you got to you gotta give, sometimes you got to take. <laughs> 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 no way you said that. You know, so this reminds me of a funny story. What's it called? So my girlfriend, I'm gonna call him out, man. And they remember this shit to the bone. It was it was like Christmas, bro. It was, it was, his name is Don Pancho, Don Hugo, uh, Don Jaime, and it was me. We we're playing dominoes, right, on the table. And Don Jaime, hey, trae un café, like that. I see. Mm -hmm. was out and everything. <laughs> Pancho, trae un café, two to his wife, like that, mm -hmm. right? And Don Hugo. Hey, trae un café. But I swear, like, just like that, back to back to back. I swear, I, I yell at Stephanie, I'm like, hey, trae un café. <laughs> and they looked at me like, <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, you don't like it like that, huh? Are you? And I swear, and my, my girl bought me my coffee, you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, they were like, yeah, like, what the fuck? Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, uh, see, they don't like it, though. And mm -hmm. I told them, I was like, why y'all, you know, yell at your wife like that? Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, that that's how they, like, they, they talk to each other, but I'm telling you, bro, like this. Hey, throw on cafe like that, bro. Yeah. Like nuts out. That's crazy. Just drop this domino on the table, type. <laughs> 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 like he just he just hit a game winner. Yeah. Hey, throw on cafe. Oh, I swear, I swear. And and but when Stephanie came in and brought me my coffee, everybody just, just like, oh, mija, no, no, no le pongas atención a este pendejo. Yeah. Um, no, uh, yeah, but it it, it changes yeah, on generation. Yeah, it changes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's crazy. I guess yeah, I grew, like uh, to to answer the second part of like how it affects growing up. You said it, bro. Like you know, it just it's just like growing up in that toxic, and then it. And then I feel like that's guys, it, like even today I feel like it affects the guys that are, um, are scared to let, the feminine side out. There's bro, every guy has at least a li like a little bit of feminine. It doesn't matter what it is. Like let's say self care, bro. I've I've been pretty big lately on self care. That's game. good, bro. I've like no, every, every it's you gotta t nah. <laughs> like, cause, cause no, listen, game, no, no, listen, I'm listen. A, you gotta throw my shit. You gotta throw my go. But yesterday he, he went to go and have a self care day. I respect him, my boy the ex. <laughs> But bro, like I don't know what they were doing, and I took a video, pop up the video right here. Bro, we don't do that on a podcast game. Nah, I'm hit up, you know, boom, pop it up right here. And Diego's on the bed, and uh, what's it called? Like they're they're cleaning his face, and I'm filming him, and I'm like, it's okay, baby, don't cry. <laughs> bro, I got a facial done yesterday, no diddy. And <laughs> what, bro? Like, I but know. I was saying, like, like it, growing up like that when in a really machismo house, you know, yeah. whatever. I think it, yeah, it affects like people, like guys that they think they have to put up this front, like, oh, you say macho, like I don't do no, I don't cry and I don't, I don't like, no, 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 soy mandilón and I can't, I won't ever do a skincare routine because that's seen as feminine or whatever, bro. I don't know. I think that's how I, I, that plays a huge role. And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty big on self care, man. I got, I got a facial done. I'm going to expose myself, and I don't think this is a bad thing. I did Botox yesterday. Like, mm -hmm. I got Botox That's done because your boy got, like, wrinkles, OD. I don't know what it is lately. I don't know what the past couple years. I blame, <laughs> I blame, Damn. I blame myself for being, I was, I did swimming for four years in high school, uh -huh. and I didn't wear sunblock one time, bro. That 
You up? I didn't wear sunblock one time. Maybe, maybe like out of all those four years, maybe three times. But like besides that, like I'm not even joking. I didn't wear sunblock ever. Yeah. And I think that definitely took a toll on my skin. Oh, and yeah. uh, I started getting OD wrinkles, bro. Like on my forehead. Been getting in my eyes lately. And I was like, damn, man. Yeah. I'd rather, even though it's a little late now, I'd rather take precaution now and try to at least like yeah. help myself in the future. And I was like, you know what, it, bro? I gotta do Botox right now to. I'm not trying to be 35 looking like I'm 50, bro. Like, so, yeah. With with that being said, guys, there's nothing wrong with you, we're getting your ass ate. So <laughs> what? That has nothing to do with that. What I was saying. You're you're the first example, like like I know that does that, which is cool, bro. And he says there's nothing wrong with that, bro. Would you want to look younger? Like nothing wrong with trying to look younger. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you know who uh, who does that a lot. Mi macho, mi bicho. Who? CR seven. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, he does. He does Botox. I don't know Botox, but he does. He does take care of himself, bro. One hundred percent. Doesn't look good just like that. You yeah, know, yeah. he's obviously he, aged. Uh, 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 on top, you know, I'm not too. You know, I don't get too much into soccer or sports or whatever. But on top of him being, you know, one of one of the best soccer players in the world. He's an image. Like, yeah, he's bro. an image, bro. Like he has to take care of his image. Mm -hmm. Everything, like everything about him, is just like everything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I understand why, and I don't think there's anything bad with that. I I completely respect it, and I I just feel like Ronaldo walks into the room, man, <laughs> and your girl there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't man. check out no more. Yeah, yeah exactly. Hey, Michael, do everybody. I feel like everybody's going. You, no, no, you, no. you could talk to Ronaldo, but Ronaldo can come in and take your girl like super, this, just, hey, like Aladdin, just like just boy, exactly no, like super. Aladdin. Hey, no, vamos. I don't know. I don't think that's a nice accent, you know. But I mean, that European accent. Yeah, nah, I think, I mean, bro, skin has no gender. You want to take care of your skin, if you want to take care of yourself, it doesn't matter you're a female or a male or whatever, it has no gender, gang. It's just self-care, take, take care of yourself, you don't want to look like shit. Take care of yourself, shit. man. You know your body I mean? is a temple, man. It is, bro. Man, and the, girl that, and the girl that gave Diego this facial? She was getting with it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's too quiet, gang. Nah, she, she... I mean, think about it. If you go to a barber shop, if you go to a barber shop, sure. you're not gonna catch somebody. <laughs> oh, my fault, man. If you go to a barber shop, or if you go to a tattoo artist, you're not gonna pull up and they have they don't look anything like their image. Uh huh. He's saying he's saying yeah he's saying battle ass. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> no, but like okay, you go to a barber shop, you're gonna have you're gonna see barbers with fades. You go to a tattoo artist, you're gonna see tattoo tattoo artists with. Tattoos everywhere, right? Bro. So they feel they they're in the environment. So I walked into a med spa, which is a, be a beauty beauty med spa, full of women. What do you think the women are gonna look like? You think they're gonna? No, oh, they gotta look good. They gotta I look mean, good. Bro, they gotta look good. Um, I I like I said, bro. I they're beautiful I, women. I, I cannot. Mean, I can I cannot talk bad on it, bro. I work in the beauty industry. I'm a barber. Um, it's dog. You know you don't understand how many guys come in. Whatever they like, hey, you know same. Sh you know, because we offer, you know, the facials and whatnot, the black masks, this and that. Don't make that <laughs> you face. offer the facials? We offer everything, bro. Guys <laughs> want to look good. You got to look good. But you're not going to walk into a club looking musty. I'm <laughs> <laughs> my eye. I'm a Fred Dome. If you go to Fred Dome for a cut and he offers you a facial, man. Say no. Say, say no. Man. Say no to Brent Dome. I'll put that on a shirt. Say no <laughs> to Brent Dome. Brent Dome. <laughs> And you got to say no to Brand Dome. Because Brand Dome loves to party. <laughs> <laughs> take no, no to man, I Dome. hate you. I hate you. You guys are terrible. But right. yeah, man. No, no. Take care of yourself, man. That's all I got to say for that one. Man, that's it for that one. Yeah, what else we got, man? Give me one more because I know we got we to gotta head out in a little bit, bro. I know, know, man. I'm so, Again, guys, we're so sorry if we cut this podcast a little short, man. We were late. Typical Hispanics. Why are Hispanics always late, dog? When did this originate? Hey, they're like, I think Felipe said this. We're late to everything besides a, uh, catching a flight. Mm -hmm. Besides that, we're there a day, a day before to make sure we don't miss the flight and everything. But... I don't know, man. I just, at least for me, I feel like, you, you think know, they just want to be like the, like the, the spotlight, like motherfuckers, when you walk in, they want to be like, oh, mira, can you go? Is, no, no, or no. Nah. Why Who you said that? Vicente Fernandez? What do you say? Este, no, uh, Rest in peace. Rest Chente. in peace. Uh, Chente. Mi Chente dijo, este, no es, ah, uh, what did he say? No hay, no hay, no hay fiesta sin globo? <laughs> he did not say <laughs> Oh, he didn't say that. That wasn't him? Hay que saber llegar. Hay que saber llegar, you know, oh. creo que llegas tarde, pero hay que saber llegar, you know okay. what I mean? Okay. Mm, hey, Chente, a fucking man, bro. Hey, hey you hey. think he was handling back in the day? <laughs> Keep it a hundred, gang. Was he handling? Nah. <laughs> was he? I feel like everybody in Mexico a little related just because of Chente. 
Bro, it's like it's cause that that's what our parents were influenced by. That's Bacha, what our grandparents bro. were influenced by. Pelos, pelos en el uh, what's it called? Pecho. En el culo también. Pelos en el pecho. With the sh- with the shirt with open. With the shirt up, open, open like that. Damn, Damn he was a demon. Hey, until what age do you think he was a bro, demon? Think about it, but he used his to whole sing. Life. He used to sing to his women, you know, like not his women, like but like serenade his, though. Huh? Yeah, he was serenade is like his significant other or like who he wanted at the time. Hey, you think he was a freak though? <laughs> yeah, he nah, was he was probably gang. just like rags. He nah, works? I think he was yeah. with the sh- gang. Nah, I don't know, man. I shout out Chanta, man. Rest in peace. I don't want to talk about Chanta. Rest, rest if he was a demon soul. or not. I would say... <laughs> what are you doing, man? I'm, I'm just saying. Head, I... Yeah, that's my shit. Man, I don't like playing that song, man. That sh- get me emotional. Y'all make me cry? That's what you're no, trying to do? No, 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 no. Today, today's, to today's a happy Friday. It's a happy Friday. Actually, you get... There's, you can cry any day, man. There's no day of the week that you don't... You can't let it out, man. Speaking of crying... What's up with people trolling Felipe for crying last night? Bro, it's game? not that deep, gang. Nah, like why why y'all why y'all trolling it Felipe matter, in the comments guys. about I'm, him crying, gang? Like it don't even, matter, guys. Don't listen to them, man. It don't matter. Nah, bro. I mean I I'm care. T- no, we don't care. We always we said we, we said it. Comments don't get to us, bro. We don't care. We this is what we signed up for. We don't care what people call me because at the end of the day we man, know. Y'all should see the motherfucking construction, man. They'll tear you down. Oh yeah? Oh, they'll tear you down, they, bro. They, be, they they give you the thick skin, bro. Hey, like, oh, without a doubt. I mean hey. man, see, I gotta go back. My sh** ain't thick no more. Hey, oh, my, oh, my skin, my Yo, skin, my he? skin. My hey, skin. Hey, hey, shout my out, skin. hey, shout out to the guy that says that I wear I wear kid size shoes though. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Call my ass out on that one. Hey, shout out to you, bro. I don't Yo, know. I don't hey, know. Hey, Rusha, what size are you? Size seven. I'm a okay, size okay. seven. Damn, you know what Drake said? <laughs> yeah, I you, know what he said. You, I, you know, <laughs> I know how, what he says. How you big stepping with a size seven man's on? Shut up, bro. <laughs> I don't want to hear. Pip squeak pipe down. <laughs> That's what he <laughs> said, guy, man. He ain't got no full bar, man. You're so man. disrespectful, man. What's up, you dicks? You're an eight, no? Yeah, I'm an eight. Hey, but I can't relate to a Drake lyric. Nah, nah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Big Motion. Nah, I can I can relate to a lot of Drake's lyrics, man. But I, I always wonder how he, how is it that he relates to so much, bro? How he, how he go through the same? Yo, you know, you know what's funny, bro? I was just watching the grass yesterday, and I'm like, bro, I can't believe the kid I'm looking at right now is is Drake, the biggest one mm, of the biggest yeah. rap artists in the world. And the only reason it popped up is because uh, on TikTok, like uh, a clip of like the grassy popped up, and I just went on my Flixer, that's illegal website. You want to find shows, or um, you know, TV shows or movies? Just look at my Flixer. Anyways, I looked up the grassy, and I was watching it, and it was like a little corny. You get me? Obviously, I'm an adult now. I, yeah. I, it's not that funny to me. But I, it was a good. It was still good. And I was just like, man, that's Drake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who would have thought that's Drake? You know what I mean? Like, that would be one of the biggest, most influential artists. In you know, world. and I'm not a huge Drake fan. I'm not glazy. I just, it, the stats are there. You get me? Yeah. The statistics don't lie. Ah. Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't. Mm. Mm. I like that. Put that on a t-shirt. You feel me? Yeah. I think I saw that quote. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, though. <laughs> I, I give my flowers when they do. Shout out Drake. Yeah. Shout out Drake. He's a... Uh, He's the f- on him. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, so we just this is the know. biggest. This m- could be doing splits on Drake. Sh- I'm gonna just leave it at that, bro. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I might do. I might do a, a trick or two on that. On that sh- too. All right, bro. Guys, like I said, we're really sorry about this podcast. It's a little all over the place. We just kind of wanted you to sit back and just hear us talk some. Sh- I, uh, I I wanted to say something real quick, man. This is um, this is. I feel like this is a really important episode. Uh, at least let me explain why. These are literally the conversations that we be having at home or on, on the drive to anything. We, like I said, we literally raw dog this episode, but we're just literally going off the dome, going off vibes, going off, bouncing back and forth on on the conversations. <laughs> and yeah, man, I, I I really enjoy this time. Yeah. And trying not to get canceled. No, yeah. That's the biggest one. Again, if you decide to clip us, man, don't hold us just clipping one 30 seconds of a freaking clip and then you leave out the other rest. Nah, the worst thing. Nah, they're good. Hey, you're good at it, man. I ain't going to lie. Because they be, they clip the 30 seconds and they'll move them around. Yeah. So it looks like we said this and then that. You have it? Oh, my God. Okay, man. Hey, there's no how easy he said. No such thing as bad publicity. Easy he said that? Easy he said that. Hey, man. Long live the legend. Hey, I'm a was a legend talking he about he was a demon himself huh he was definitely handling back in the day <laughs> what beliefs what he was him he was a de- what hey guys Rest in peace eric right hey right after right after this episode i'm catching a flight to vegas no well, not catching a flight but i'm driving to vegas okay. you're driving i'm driving to vegas right Why after this episode whoa just because uh i'm going with a group of people so they going with? oh we'll talk about it after yeah we'll talk about it after <laughs> you see what i mean about it? we're just bouncing back and forth but yeah man so wait what are you doing in vegas 
Uh, we're doing the Lovers and Friends Festival. Ooh. You know, I, 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 I'm, a, I, I'm a huge, <laughs> <Not just fuck laughs> you. mid. <laughs> I'm a huge T Pain fan, fan, so I heard he's performing. Name so three songs of T Pain right now. Can't believe it. I'm sprung. Uh, bartender. Just a basic three. That's f***ed <laughs> up, man. Should have just said buy me a drink while you were at it. <laughs> that one too, man. Hey, give me a line. Be, let's let's end this. Let's end this with you singing a little T Pain. She made me feel so, so good. good. Yeah. Better than I would yeah. by myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I was with somebody yes. else. The people say what? You made me feel, I don't know. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> man. I got shy. Guys, uh, we love y'all, man. We'll see you this uh, next week, same time. Tune in every Monday, eleven in the morning. Sometimes unless we're late. Go watch the brand new YouTube video on Chicos Toxicos. Again, mm -hmm. we love you so much, and how Brandon said, we'll never stop thanking you enough because you guys support our dumbasses.